Hello everyone. Namaskar. Rajkrishna this side and today we are going to learn again something special. The value of cos pi by 5. This in, is in radians. Now if you consider it in degrees, pi is 180. So 180 by 5. So we are trying to find the value of cos 36. Going to be interesting. Not a good looking angle again I would say because good angles are uh, cos 90, cos 45, even cos 120. These can be evaluated easily with the help of allied angles also. But angles like this becomes rather difficult to solve. So they, we have categorized it aside but important to discuss again because in competitive examination problems will be asked which will involve this again directly so sometimes you have to learn this but before that we will focus on deriving also so here we go start off with this now pi by 5 is as i told 36 degree but before that if you haven't watched uh, go and watch you will get it in trigonometry uh, playlist that i have discussed the value of sine 18 degree or pi by 10. So if you focus on angle, can you relate pi by 10 to pi by 5? Is there any relation between pi by 5 and pi by 10? You would say yes, there is a relation between pi by 5 and pi by 10. Because pi by 5 is twice of pi by 10. Isn't it? Now in trigonometry, do we have any formula in which you have cos of twice of something relating to sign? Can you remember this? Yes, of course we have a formula. This formula, I hope you can recall it now. Cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sin square x. Now today we are going to use make use of this formula because we already know the value of sine pi by 10 that is under root 5 minus 1 by 4. These are looking a bit similar plus and minus. Now cos 2x is this. Let's make use of this. Okay. So we can say that in place of x we have pi by 5. So uh, yes, so I can say that uh, your cos uh, 2x that I have already written here. So cos 2 into pi by 10. If I write like this, this is same as writing pi by 5, isn't it? Cos 2 into pi by 10. This can be written as 1 minus 2 times sin square 2 times and here becomes 2 will go because 2x and x so here it will be pi by 10 only simple isn't it now what can we do now so now in the next step we can write this as uh, cos pi by 5 because we have already made use of the formula this equals to 1 minus 2. Now sine pi by 10 value you know under root 5 minus 1 divided by 4. Just square that. Just square that. Now again cos pi by 5 is what we are going to discuss. So cos pi by 5 is 1 minus. Uh, are you happy with squaring? Uh, square of 4 is 16 and inside under root 5 square is 5 minus 2 into root 5 into 1 so 2 root 5 and plus 1 so we are getting 6 minus 2 root 5 so let's move a step ahead and we are getting this 
1 minus, now we can write this as 1 by 8, isn't it? Inside I have 6 minus 2 root 5. Further, I can see I can take 2 common from this bracket. So, I am taking steps as simple as possible for you. So, 1 minus 1 by 8. And I take a 2 common. So 2 comes out. Inside I am left with 3 minus root 5. There we go. Moving to the next step. So cos pi by 5. Again this is 1 by 4. Now taking LCM. So 4 minus 3 minus root 5 divided by 4. Now, if you open the bracket, you are getting 4 minus 3 as 1 and minus minus plus. So, finally, what you are getting is your desired result because cos pi by 5 is what you were waiting for. 4 minus 3 is 1. So, root 5 plus 1 divided by 4. As simple as this. Not that simple. But yes. Uh, you had to remember this otherwise if you don't remember this formula you have to again derived, derive this uh, result for sin pi by 10 which is quite a bit lengthy but if you remember now from the next time if someone asks you sin pi by 10 that is sin 36 you will uh, say root 5 minus 1 by 4 and similarly not related but yes Cos 36 is root 5 plus 1 by 4. Now, one thing more I want to discuss which I left in the last video. That once you have find the value of sine pi by 10, you know one thing that cos 90 minus theta is same as sine theta, isn't it? So, if I find cos pi by 2 minus pi by 10, that will give me sin pi by 10. Sin pi by 10 value I already know. What is there in the LHS? LHS is pi by 2 minus pi by 10. Let's simplify this a bit. So, uh, cos of 5 pi minus pi this is under root 5 minus 1 by 4. 4 pi by 10. 2 pi by 5. Yes. One more value which is not needed to be remembered. But if you talk in terms of degrees, pi by 5 is 36 multiplied by 2. So cos 72 degree is also root 5 minus 1 by 4. Yes. So not only sine this uh, 18 degree, but sine 18 degree as well as cos 72 degree, both are equal to under root 5 minus 1 by 4. Now on a similar note, if I want to discuss, Today we have discussed cos pi by 5. Let's talk in terms of uh, degrees. It is easier there to use the complementary formula. So pi by 5 is 36, isn't it? So you have known the value of cos 36. So I can now say cos 36 will be same as sine 90 minus 36 and 90 minus 36 is 54, I think. 54 plus 6 is 60, 60 plus 30 is 90. So sine 54, if someone asks you, you will just say root 5 plus 1 divided by 4. So quite thing we have learned. Now we are comfortable with 4 angles, sine 18, cos 72, cos 36 and sine 54. We have remembered just one. If you still remember, if one only, sine 18, if you remember, you can go from sin 18 to cos 36. You can go from sin 18 to cos 72. You can go from cos 36 to sin 54. 
Wow, this is the magic. So focus on this and rest will be automatically shorted. So now that's it for today. We'll see you next time with some more learning content for you. Today, four values right on target, sign 18, cost 72, cost 36, sign 54. Result is in front of you. Process is also clear to you. We just use cos 2x as 1 minus 2 sin square x. Why? Before, because we initially realized that sin uh, pi by 10, if you do that twice of that angle and then take cos. So cos twice and relation with sine. So I found that formula and then we later use that. So I hope you understood. I was able to... Uh, teach this concept to you if not do comment that in which portion you were not able to understand uh, otherwise you can watch my playlist on uh, trigonometry for more such videos thanks again